Hey guys, Ben Plays here. Welcome to episode one of Super Hostile Delania. Ooh. You are the Victory Monument. What does that mean? Wait, what? Over here, enter the world. Thank you to all my wonderful patrons for making this map possible. I wouldn't be here without you. Need server. <laughs> um. So I'm an early access patron of Vex. Uh <laughs> these these barrier blocks. Are making are giving me an anxiety attack. Um, I can't I can't talk right now. I can't I literally uh, Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the first aid mod. This tutorial will guide you through this mod and explain all the mechanics. As you may have already noticed, the vanilla health bar is gone. It has been replaced by this system. It, well, no, it's not. Every part of your body has its own health, so if you fall from a high place, one of your feet will be damaged. This may cause some debuffs to apply, like, slowness for damaged feet. By taking morphine or healing the wound. Wounds can be healed by applying bandages or plaster, right? You sleep in a bed. Um... Okay, so if I take a body shot, I think those hardcore hearts, I think you have three health that you can take on a body shot, which I don't understand because Vex didn't like. Okay, Old Man's Fort, the Southern Lance, Book of Monsters, uh, Rockman Dude has washed up on the shores of Delania, Rockman Dude has made the advancement Book of Monsters. So what I was saying about being an early access patron... Click. Press T to view, view old chat. Hi there. Scattered all over Delania are these bookshelves attached to command blocks. This is a Talra command that whispers text directly to you. Command block is hidden, but I left it partially exposed to show you through this tutorial area. These blocks are used throughout the map to re reveal narrative information without clogging your inventory up with books. Thank you, Vex. Thank you, Vetches. Um, anyway, I'm one of his patrons. I talk with him on Discord all the time. It's pretty fun, actually. Um, but, okay, I need to get inside, and then I'll read that in a minute. The meditation spot. I have no idea what that means. Um, I'm going to pause. So, yeah. Um, you wouldn't have access to play this map yet if you wanted to download it. You are going to have to wait until December. Hang on, let me let me check his um Patreon real quick. Um Maybe it's in the news channel on his Discord. Or I could just click the post button. Okay. Public release date. December 18th. So, December 18th, a week before Christmas. Okay. Now that I've gotten that out, so... The mod pack is available to download right now. It's called the Super Hostile Mod Pack. Um, the map that I'm playing, because this is a custom map is not available to the public at the moment. Mahotsuka oh, Mahotsuka is in here. Interesting. Uh what? Uh what? Machines, huh? Huh? Wait, what? What?
Okay, this is ice and fire stuff. You find a worm note stuck. You find a worm note stuck next to the door. If you're reading this, then you are probably then you are one in a long line of people to wash up on the shore here. You're on an island off the southern coast of Delania. I'm an I'm a <sighs> I'm a retired adventurer. I guess you could just call me the old man. Every year, I try to swing by and maintain this place. I don't know enough about ocean currents to tell you why people arrive here, but they do. Use what you need from this old fort, but try not to trash the place too much or hog every stack of supplies. Well, I don't know about trashing the place, but I'm definitely going to do the second thing. Take what you need, leave what you can. Oh, that's a hint to a crafting recipe, I think. Um, is there a crafting table here? Yes. Betches. Uh, Betches? Whatever recipe this is, is broken. I hope you know that, Betches. Betches! Okay. If you're wondering why I call him Vetches instead of Vex sometimes, um, it's a joke from... Okay, can I make leather armor? Or can I make stone? Oh! Okay. Um, mining. He starts you out with two levels of XP, or ten levels of XP. Nice. Okay, um, that's about all I need, I think. Attack. Maybe I should put some points in attack. Um, I'm going to install one mod in here. Um, it doesn't change too much, but I want to install maybe two mods, actually. A um, mini-map. Unless Antique Atlas is in here. Atlas? Yes. Okay. So that shouldn't be too bad to get. That shouldn't be too terrible to get. A note reads, normally when you meditate on your inner power, it must be done at the mystical times of dawn or dusk while you are holding a wooden focus for your energies. This spot is magically enhanced to let you meditate at any time, but you still need your wooden focus held in your off hand. I have no clue what that means. I'm pretty sure that's a custom command block thing. A note reads, if you have a traditional mindset, you'll have to stick with leather armor here. If you're living... Life to the fullest, you could probably rig up some wood or rock armor and leave leather for making the other stuff. Hey, at least those of a traditional mindset use less energy and seem to not have to deal with hydration, right? Or freezing or overheating to death, so that's something. Oh, so he's saying if you're playing in vanilla, um, use leather armor, but if not... Those living on the edge of adventure know when to improvise. Why make meat out of a raw chicken when you could pluck it clean for feathers? Why can't you just take plant fiber wheat and some shears and make plant-based fletchings for arrows? Vax! I'm taking a screenshot of this real quick. I don't know if you can see that I took a screenshot. Hang on. That is this recipe isn't in. Ooh. 
the one for wheat. That is. Okay, I'm gonna try it again and show him. Um, I'm gonna take a screenshot. Hang on. Unless it's shaped. Spoilerino chat, eh? Ah, I see. Okay, I may have screwed around a bit too much. Oh, also one last thing. I don't think I said this on camera. If I did, I apologize for repeating myself. But I want to try to keep this series PG, but no promises. Ooh, I like the rainbow beds. Okay, but at least I don't have to worry about having screwed around too much at the start of this map. He's really made it a pretty easy start. Um, teleport to Dalon City. Okay. Teleport to Jenton. Two gold. Now, I believe these are... Ah, the Kingdom of Dalan. They're paranoid and slightly xenophobic, but we leave, live in a world with giant monsters, so who can blame them? I am always annoyed how they claim the title of true Dalanians, but everyone from this continent is technically Dalanian. Nobody else seems to care, so I guess I'm being a pedant. How do you pronounce that word? Pedant? Delon Island is well protected, although moving on from their area will require using a boat. The Draconic... Uh, what? The Draconic Ossuary, the White Dungeon... The White Dungeon, I thought it said White Dragon, can be found in the Andam Mountains near the headlands of the Andam River, whose mouth empties into the sea northwest of Don... Delon Island, not Dongan Island. The light of day gives way to the darkness of night. Which means that it is time for me to sleep. Okay. Morning light shines over Delania. Thank you. So. Oh no, it still gives a thirst debuff. Why, Vex? Why? Vex, no. X, Y. All oh, right, I remember this. You need charcoal filters from sugar canes. Require farming too. Okay. Um. There we go. Vetches no. Vetches why? Vetches, vetches, vetches. Hang it, hang it, hang it. Okay, I'm just imitating him, really. Okay, so, um, is there, like... No, there isn't. Is there any... Either... Uh, gravel or hello piggies okay so there's a lot of piggles around here Vex I love this area it's beautiful um I'm gonna go say hi to these guys I'm not sure if they're friendly or not, so maybe I should stash my stuff in a chest somewhere. I'm afraid to even go to Dalon City right now. 
Not gonna lie. Or, uh, wherever it was. Was it Dalan City? What's that place called? Yeah, Dalan City. A note reads, I hired a mage to make some one-way teleporters. Even after the grants from several adventuring guilds, they were very expensive. Sorry, kid, but I have to charge for them. It's for the best. You probably shouldn't be running off into the world too quickly. Also, this might be your first time seeing the standard pa pattern vending machine. They take exact change and will eat your money if you have less than the required amount. Caveat emptor, as they say. Okay, if that thirst debuff is a thing, I may as well just carry a few water bottles on me. Um, I'm really scared now because it says don't go into the world too quickly. Jenton. Uh, note reads, Kingdom of Jenton is the second oldest po- Vax. Vax. Words, man. <laughs> uh, the kingdom of the... Uh, polity? Polity? The ancient war of Aetis that ravaged the world and parts of the Delanian continent that left Genton and its tributaries mostly unscathed. As such, the Gentonians are kind, but somewhat soft people used to centuries of peace. The Gentonian territories are well patrolled and largely safe. Due to this safety, there really isn't a dungeon nearby, but I suppose the closest one would be the Crystal Caves, the Cyan Dungeon. It's close if you're flying, but actual travel by ground will be lengthy and bothersome. It lies southwards into the North Buckle Mountains, but the dungeon is technically in Mineka territory. What the heck? was that noise. Vax, I'm scared. Vax, I'm scared. I hope you know about that. I'm just gonna keep talking to Vax as if he's watching and as if he's listening. The Trinity Union claims New Ascor, a New Axor, as its capital. The Union is the newest polity in Delania, having broken away from Genton very recently, fairly recently, in a peaceful revolt. They are a theocracy of the Church of the Trinity, and their government is a bit bureaucratic for my tastes. Although their formation was peaceful, the relations with Genton are chilled, and they are a landlocked polity with no access to sea trade. To add to their problems, they are the front line for all the monsters wandering in from the northeastern deadlands, and unlike Dalan, they don't have a bridge choke point to destroy to solve their problems. The Halls of Iron, the Grey Dungeon, is the closest no known dungeon, almost straight north from New Axor in the Searcha Mountains. I'm not going to remember all this. I, no, there's no way I'm going to remember all this. Hmm. That scares me. Mainka. Tomb of the Sun. I feel like that was... Um, the Sultanate of Menka claims Menka, jewel of the desert as its capital, and does a brisk trade with Gent, Gent to the north. They've just emerged victorious from a war with fire giants from overseas, which is why they are now a Sultanate and no longer a principal. Are you making up words, Vax? Is that what this is? The fire giants refuse to allow them any title higher than Prince Menka. Okay. 
Minka I, is a fortunate town for adventurers. To what was that noise? To the north, across the bay, lies the Crystal Caves, the Cyan Dungeon, and to the east, somewhere in the desert of Yen Yenkatap, lies the Tomb of the Sun, the Yellow Dungeon. I'm getting you. I'm still getting used to like the whole D and D crazy names thing. Siren's Cove is a strange town, and not one I would recommend for anyone but the most steadfast. It is a town entirely of monster girls. If you are of the vanilla persuasion, the girls will be far too shy to show themselves to you. However, if you live life to the fullest, you can spend some time with them. I don't want to. However, if you live, yeah, uh, try not to get robbed, seduced, charmed, boondoggled, bamboozled, eaten, soul drained, or any, uh, any combination thereof. <laughs> You've been warned. As for dungeons, it is rumored that much adventure can be found upriver from the town, and naturally, Siren's Cove is the closest settlement to the dead library, which is marked on even basic maps. Oh dear, Vex, you are quite the lore guy. I love it, actually. Okay, so is there a hole in the roof? Is that why? No, no hole in the roof. Is this entirely closed in? This room? Yeah, that's why it counts as a... That's why it takes your, um... You find a hastily scribbled message. Hey kid, old man again. If you follow the path out of this old fort, it goes up to the mountains. There's some ruins up there. And a long time ago there the uh, Yeah, a woo woo wool. Old fleecy box is still there, and I bet you could still get a lot of adventuring experience by finding it. Be warned, nighttime is really dangerous. Be very careful when the sun sets. Which it is currently setting, but I think... I know I didn't do much other than read a bunch of lore. In fact, I may want to find some more lore. Oh. I've got a slowness debuff because I'm thirsty. Okay, cool. I'm not sure how much I love the thirst mechanic, though. I may disable it. Yeah, actually. I'm fine with the heat mechanic because it's, um, something that's, that Vex implemented in isolation. Um, and that's his last super hostile map, and he did it well. Not sure how well Tough as Nails does it. But, um... Ooh, I didn't get thirsty that time. Okay, seriously? Yeah, I need to find some, like, water water. Because all these water bottles... Yeah, water bottles are not helpful. Morning light shines over Delania. Don't leave the gate open, you stupid. Hello, piggies. Hello, all you little piggles. I think I'm gonna kill some piggles. Yeah, probably gonna kill a few piggles. I'm gonna hop the fence, if I can. Yeah, it's much faster. If I'm gonna get a thirst debuff anyway, it's honestly just much faster to drink from there. But I'll fill up some water bottles as well. Hello. Are you guys hostile? Are you... Looks like it. Hello. Oh, maybe you're not. You were just walking in my direction. 
Hello, you're a satyr? Oh, you're friendly. Okay. I'm really scared still. Not gonna lie. Still a bit scared. Um, maybe I could set up a farm. No, I need farming experience, right? Oh, but I have farming level 2. Right. Aubergine seed does not require any farming level. Yeah, so in between episodes, I'm going to... Yeah, so I'm going to go back to the fort now, I think, and end off my episode here, and then, um, probably not going to record any more tonight, but I cannot wait to get into this map. Seems like it's going to be a long one. Hopefully Vex fixes the pack with that, um, with that, uh, feather recipe he mentioned. Um, I'm gonna see if I can... I'm actually gonna cheat a little bit. So I'm gonna turn on JEI's cheat mode real quick. And just show him that the... I'm gonna take another screenshot that the recipe for chicken to feathers works. So I'm gonna cheat in one rock piece of raw chicken and then I'm gonna throw it on the ground so J.I. cheat mode true um, chicken okay This recipe works. Okay, I will see you guys in the next episode. I'm going to go hang out in the fort, um, and I'm going to stop recording here. Um, and I think I'm going to go back to my normal world on this mod pack and just keep playing it a little bit. But I, I'm enjoying this so far. Um, I am super enjoying this so far. Man, I, I love Vex. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.